Hey, hello out there everyone. How is YouTube doing today? We are playing World of Warships Legends. I am your host tonight, Phoenix61. We got a legendary tier game with only four ships on each team and I'm wondering just how close we can get. Uh, we are rocking the Montana. And even more fun is it, you know, the, uh, the what is, epicenter? I like to call it um, King of the Hill, Suicide Circle, pretty much anything except for epicenter is what we do. But, um, you know, when it's, a sh when it's a small game like this, I like to, I actually like to be a little bit more aggressive, right? Like, let's get this game, uh, let's get this show on the road, let's go in a little bit. Um, so I almost, my, my, um... My method to the madness here was I'm going to almost play it like a cruiser to start out with and head towards, although, you know, if I was a cruiser and it was 9 versus 9, I would not go in this quickly, but <laughs> um, but basically going in towards, you know, a chunk of land um, looking for cover so that I can kind of narrow down my targets, right, so that not everyone can shoot at me all at once. So we are pretty well angled here and actually get a decent hit on this Alami. Uh, right off the bat, like only the fir the front turrets and landed 15k right off the bat there. He was angled pretty good for us, and then of course got a whole lot of nothing with the back turrets <laughs> time around, right? Uh, but I, so I was surprised with this game, um, just how well we did um, damage wise, considering there's only four ships on the enemy team, right? But I mean, like it, you know, in like all fairness, then there's also only four ships on your team to shoot them with, right? So it's you know. I guess, I suppose it's sort of relative, but, you know, it just did feel kind of weird to me, you know? So this Yamato over here across the map is just kind of, I feel like he's pushing in too hard, right? Um, but he's got a good angle on us too, and so we're kind of just kind of splitting the difference um, angle-wise between the uh, Iwami that we were shooting at before and then this Yamato, right? Because we're going to smack him pretty hard here because he, he's just perfectly, you know, <laughs> just run turrets. Front turrets only, another 33,000 damage done to him. These back turrets can't spin around fast enough for us, right? <laughs> the one time I wish I had chose turret movement speed. This, this is it. Never again will I care about it. <laughs> I sort of like, I don't go for movement speed of turrets on, I mean, I'm pretty much anything, like, but um, with battleships, it's kind of like, you know, I expect them to be slow to start with. And so I just try to, I try to plan for you know, the turret situation when it comes to turret movement speed. I think, like, the exception might be some of those Italian battleships where they, they do move pretty quickly to start with. Um, and then if you if you are kind of doing brawler play style with them where you're getting up close, the, the faster moving turrets help. But for the most part, with, like, especially, like, my American battleships, I'm, I'm usually at range. Um, you know, like, mid to long range fights is what I like to pick. So, yeah. <clears throat> So this Awami keeps moving this way. Um, I'm pretty sure he does, they do have torpedoes in that, so we do have to be careful about him um, kind of rushing in. Um, but, you know, we've got three other teammates that are already um, kind of picking on him, so he may not be alive for too much longer. I think he saw what I did and was like, you know, that's a good idea. I'll do it on the opposite side. <laughs> but we did manage to get the uh, center zone cap. I think, so it looks like an assisted capture there. But So Brisbane, see if we can get a decent hit on him. He looks not... Ooh. Ooh. Oh, come on! Look at that sliver left. Jeepers. And then here comes an Ohio. We might take a nasty hit from this Ohio. Oh, no, he's behind the... Uh, okay, yeah, we're fine. <laughs> Somebody finish that Brisbane! Oh my gosh. But yeah, we're like only four enemy ships and we're up to 100,000 100, damage four minutes into the game. I was like, no way! I thought this was going to be a very uneventful game where I would just press too hard and end up dying, you know, because that's what we do sometimes, you know. <laughs> Alright, here comes Ohio. He's probably our, my, my biggest concern. Still haven't quite learned how to deal with the Ohio yet. If you know me, if you know my channel, we don't, I uh, don't do a lot of, um, so at the time of recording this anyway, we, uh, um, I did not have the Ohio yet, we'll see, um, so I was still in the middle of, um, sort of the, uh, the winter, you know, the winter, uh, you know, the holiday update or whatever, you know, season, whatever you want to call it, campaign, 
Um, so we were still working our way towards the Ohio. So a lot of the folks that got the Ohio early on um, probably spent some doubloons, right, to um, get enough of the uh, winter currency to get that ship uh, early on, right? So we like to try and do it freebie style or close to freebie style, right? We get another wicked whack on him. Go Montana, right? I mean, it's just because he's, like, poorly angled, too, you know? And I think that, like, there's probably some folks out there got excited for the ship and just don't don't play legendary tier a lot, you know, or don't play higher tiers a lot, you know, so you can just outright get that ship. You don't even have to do, you don't even have to go through a bureau project, you know, so you can just have it. So um, there's probably some wallet warriors out there picking it up real easy. That gives us our eighth Citadel hit for the game. And we got a lot of noob sauce happening, I guess, you know. <laughs> 204,000 damage, still two ships left. That Yamato's not going to live long enough for us to be able to get a shot off on him, I don't think. Yeah. <laughs> Good game, guys. All, all four of my, all three of my teammates still alive. I was counting myself as my own teammate. I almost said four. So we'll see if we can't get this, um, this last, uh, the last tickle needed for this, um, cruiser around the corner here. He played, um, crazy conservative. You know, he kept out of sight. <laughs> the rest of the game after we whopped him. And then we got the three zone captures there too. Yeah, we're getting spotted by his airplane. I think, who was that? He had, um, he's got torpedoes, whatever it was. So him being able to spot us with this plane is frustrating because he could be planning our demise so we don't have a lot of help yet yeah, <laughs> so we were smart enough to at least turn I mean granted we were like oh come on that did not hit me come on yeah, we had damage kind of whatever whatever game <laughs> oh no here's the radar there you oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah bye good night <laughs> see you later buddy <laughs> Another Citadel Jeepers. <laughs> so we will do a double header here, um, just because that, that game was so so damn short, right? <laughs> we'll see. I think we have a uh, game in the Indianapolis. Um, it's a tier 6 cruiser, right? And uh, we don't play that ship a lot, uh, but I think we needed... I try to mix it up when I'm doing, um, you know, I, I tend to do the premium supplies missions each week. Um, so I tend to, I try to mix it up with which premium ships I actually play as, right? So um, we rock the Indianapolis, which is not normally my forte, but we uh, uh, we have a decent game with it, right? So the more we play with it, the better we get, right? So, you know, that's how, that's how life works, right? <laughs> oh, I kind of feel like it's a little bit of a... Like a you know um, upgrade from the Pensacola sort of you know it reminds me of the Pensacola so I kind of try to play it like I would play a Pensacola uh, but that was one the Pensacola that tier five um, American cruiser right so that was one where we just you know one of the first like cruiser lines we did when we were started playing the game right <clears throat> so we learned the hard way how to play how to not play cruisers <laughs> died died needlessly so many times um, in that ship and then I was like I hate I hate this ship it's stupid <laughs> it was just it was just me I was just doing it wrong so now we know how to do it <laughs> so we'll head for cover here see if we can't support the a cap um, occasionally somebody gets spotted you know kind of in this this in-between area that we're looking here so um, sometimes we can we can pick on somebody in there but I don't like being out in the open it's how you get yourself killed um, in, the, in this ship um, so this Belfast if he keeps coming into the zone he's not gonna be happy with what's about to happen to him because he's nice and broadside somebody else needs to shoot at him to three Citadel hit see this is like <laughs> where was where is that Montana, you know, power with those Citadel hits just wrecking? 
I think this is where we got that Azure Lane build on our um, on our arranged American battleships, and just they're just brutal. <clears throat> so yeah, <laughs> that was all right. Somebody nice radar use, whoever that was. Oh wait, it was me. <laughs> so we can pick him up. I think you get a little. I think it's like nine point nine. Um, but we can't, he's on his way out, right? He's trying to get away in his smoke. Oh, we'll take the guest shot here as he disappears. And then, nice, I was like, we're gonna shoot this, uh, destroyer, and then, uh, somebody, yeah, that was a terrible guest shot. Um, we'll shoot this destroyer, and then somebody smoked him, too. Alright, can we get this kill? It looks like somebody else already had bullets on the way. Yep. It's fine. It's fine. I don't mind doing the heavy lifting with none of the credit. <laughs> In all honesty, just the, uh, you know, kills aren't aren't everything. Uh, I think, you know, it's hard to tell, but as far as earning credits and XP, which, you know, will kind of, you know, if you're working on the regular tech trees trying to unlock the next ship, right, um, you know, kills are only, you know, they help, but only so much, right? So getting and any of these, like, ribbons or banners that show up in the top right, um, I believe help you out with XP, and so if you're if you're wanting to be you know like you know trying trying to fight for like the top spot on the leaderboard, um, at the end of the game you know to see what how you placed right. I think just anything that earns you more of those those ribbons or banners, whatever you want to call them, right. So those citadels are are great. That's what we like to see. Uh, another one that I think does does really good is the, like the defends and the captures too. Um, but I don't know if, I don't even know if there's, somebody tell me this, if there's like a, I mean, you know, maybe World of Worships Legends.com or whatever has something, but like, what things earn you the most XP, because I have not seen anything like that, <laughs> like that out there. It's literally just my, my feelings that I'm sharing, right? So, we do get the kill on the battleship, so that's nice, and then our destroyer has captured the zone. Um, so this is like the like kind of like the perfect situation out here that just like worked out for us really great. Right? Like we've got a destroyer that went into the zone. Um, they were, you know, my teammates were doing some spotting. When spotting went away, we used our radar, um, and we were able to kind of just clean up house, right? So I think you know when you know the the way to win in this game is more about positioning and not dying nice <laughs> than it is about, you know, like, then aiming at the right place at, at the right time, you know, like that, you know, so it's kind of part, partly why I enjoyed this game a little bit more, because, um, you know, we played some plenty of first-person shooters back in our day, and I was never the best at sniping people in the eyeball, right, so <laughs> this is a little bit, this is a little bit more of my speed. So we'll head in towards the the B hole, as I like to call it, the sun, the center cap, that is zone B, and we'll see who we can pick on on our way there. Um, this is kind of convenient because everyone's kind of behind cover, um, land masses between us, so that we're not even getting spotted as we uh, come in here to, to to get this zone, and we're taking shots. So all sort of freebie shots. Can't help with the destroyer, which is a shame because he was you know damn near dead, but of course somebody else got to him. So this is why we do double features on this channel. When we have these good games that are nice and short, right? I'm like, you know what? I'll save the game. Because we can combine it with another one. Somebody out there was asking for longer videos. I'm like, bro, 15 minute games. <laughs> I was considering, you know, like we, some of the ships we do play a lot, like the Suja, there's one out there, right? So I'm like, if I... Play that a lot. It's kind of like my favorite money maker one for making uh, the silver or the coins or whatever. Um, I'm like, you know what? If we have like several good games, like I could save them and be like, here's an hour of Suja, right? But we have not done that yet. Um, we did do a um, our first iteration of um, Devastating Strike compilation that's out there. That one ended up being a half hour. So um, go and check that one out. That one's that one's been posted for a little while, but look for that one because that one's pretty badass. I didn't do any voiceover for it, but um, it it it's awesome. So we we have a lot of games where like we either lose or like the game was boring, but then I have like this cool like thirty second moment, right? 
<laughs> where we like just have awesome play or get a really good devastating strike. So I was saving those up. And I, my plan was to do save up till I had about 15 minutes, and I was looking at the file size, and I'm like, well, uh, yeah, that's uh, not quite 15 minutes yet. And then when I did put them together, it was like 30 minutes, so <laughs> that's 30 minutes here. So we will, this is one, one thing I do like to do when, uh, you know, the game is kind of very obvious that it's going to be, um, you're going to win, right? I'll go out and kind of just YOLO it, because that's fun, right? <laughs> We'll see if we can't get a decent hit on this Suja out there. So we got AP loaded and he's nice and broadside, so that's why we kind of did that. And the Turpits wasn't looking our direction. He's paying attention to that battleship. Looks like he's probably trying to ram him or something. But yeah, so we get an awesome Citadel hit on that Suja. And we got three defense too. So we'll see if we can't sneak it in here. The game says we're not going to hit the, the rocks, but we hit some of the rocks. So I don't have as much faith in that. <laughs> But that would be pretty sweet to get that kill just like right there at that last second, right? But yeah, we like to be um, negligent and aggressive at the end of the game when we know we're gonna win and I end up dying like quite a bit from from that happening But you know you got the win in the bag If you did your job throughout the game, you know blah blah blah. You still end up at the top, right? We'll see where we end up here second place The guy in the black did pretty good over 3k for XP Very nice, very nice We'll go through the commander really quick. Um, this is um, Norman Scott. You can see up in the top right. So this um, Mary East River is um, just the commander Geist, right? So she has no effect on the gameplay. Um, William Tennant for inspiration. So I picked a defensive skill there. <laughs> and I had left him there forever because I picked him early on as an inspiration because just because of the struggle bus I lived on. Um, when we first started playing American Cruisers, right? <laughs> um, but I like to do, basically, I like to do range and accuracy builds a lot, right? So I know a lot of other folks like to pick um, things like, um, you know, reload time and stuff like that. Um, but I like to do range accuracy. And then with the American ones we're doing, we, we focus on AP shells. Um, and then um, almost always doing fully packed for the legendary inspiration. I think you could argue if you were... You know, if you're finding yourself not playing out, like not surviving through the whole game, then you probably don't have enough time to use those extra consumables that you get with fully packed. So you might want to pick something else um, until you kind of get used to, you know, and, and unless you see yourself, you know, lasting through most of the games, right? But cruisers, I feel like, are are the more challenging um, ship type to play as. So thank you guys so much for watching all the way through. Um, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We do have... World of Warships videos um, coming out every day. So thanks for watching and see you tomorrow.